All right, what's going on, everybody? So uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while is uh, weld up some uh, cable to make a hammer. Um, I've been extremely busy lately making hammers. I guess I'm a hammer maker now, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, I really do enjoy uh, making hammers and tooling, but um, I do have some leftover cable. So like I said, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough material from uh, these four strands. I also have this one. Um, this is just what I had left over in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and weld these up and then I'll probably stack them. Um, but I, I do have some more cable in my garage, uh, which I'll probably, uh, you know, weld that up off, off camera because it's just the same thing to add that into uh, to this is th if this isn't enough material. Probably gonna do a cross peen. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the plan. Um, I did not soak these, I, I just, Cut them as is. Um, I'm just gonna throw them in the fire and go from there. It's something I've kind of wanted to try with cable too. Is uh, um, seeing how well, uh, seeing the results from um, not soaking them overnight in uh, diesel or some sort of solvent, and I'm not gonna twist them open and flux them. I just kind of, you know, I just want to see what happens. Um, I don't really think it's necessary to soak them overnight. I mean, most of the stuff. This cable is not really dirty. Um, but I, you know, most of the, uh, grease that's in there is just going to burn off in the forge. So that's my thinking could be wrong because normally I always soak, uh, my cable overnight, but, um, anyways, yeah, enough rambling. So let's get these welded up. So stay tuned. <laughs>
right, well, that was awesome. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I think that hammer looks freaking awesome. And I really wasn't expecting that kind of contrast with the cable at all. I was pretty amazed when I uh, um, took it out of the the, uh, the ferric for the first etch, man. I was pretty blown away. But, yeah, really happy with the hammer. Um, all the forging went great. Had no problems. Um, I was really careful when I was drawing out the uh, peen to not fish mouth it. Um, so I would draw it out a little, bring it over to the anvil, upset it bring it back to the press, draw it out some more. Um, cause I didn't, like I said, I didn't want it to fish mouth and then have to cut that fish mouth away and then lose my, uh, my face. So that's one thing I took into account. Um, I also had a buddy stop by too. So that's who was striking, uh, and helping me square up the billet, you know, instead of just standing there watching. Um, but that dude can swing a hammer. I'll tell you that he's a great striker. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, uh, Oh, I did forget to uh, film making the handle. Uh, I just made it out of a uh, block of hickory and then burned it. So pretty simple. I, I don't have anything exotic to to hang it on. I think this does deserve, uh, you know, um, something, uh, some kind of exotic wood, but whatever. I don't feel like ordering anything and waiting to get it. So I got plenty of hickory and ash. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you guys got any questions, just ask. And I hope you all have a good day.